another Friday morning, another episode of Beyblade Burst Sparking, and this one actually has quite a decent bit to talk about, so let's just get right into it. If you guys don't remember, in this episode, we are going to see Vault and Huga team up against Louis and Free and see who progresses to the semi-finals of the Legend Festival. But before we get into it, if we could hit 800 likes on this video, that would be crazy. And hit that subscribe button down below if you're not part of the Nook Nation and join in on the Mall of Toys and my giveaway for the 10 World Spriggans. Links in the description down below. But anyways, it is time to move on to the episode. So the episode starts off, we have Huga kind of talking with Vault and Rantaru and Hikaru are there as well. And it's kind of just like a positive thing it's a pre-battle banter you know what I mean but this causes Hikaru to be kind of sad and he goes off by himself because you know he got eliminated last episode but Rantaru comes in and kind of cheers him up a little bit then right after that we have Louie talking with Free and really there's not much said here overall uh, neither of these guys talk that much especially Free but Louie I'm pretty sure was just pretty confident and it's like huh, I'm about to go win this so the battle between Vault Huga versus Louie and Free begins they launch their bays and they kind of barely miss each other with Fafnir going in to take the center which makes sense because he's a stamina bay vault then sends Valkyrie in to attack Fafnir and they kind of collide in the middle of the stadium with Hyperion kind of coming in to attack Fafnir as well but then nothing activates and Hyperion and Valkyrie collide both the bays bounce away and this gives Louie a pretty decent opportunity to make a pretty big hit on Hyperion and sends him up into the air. But of course, don't count Vault and Huga out quite yet. They go into some side pockets, generate some speed, they start to glow, and this is where the true battle begins. Both Vault and Huga combine their energy to attack Fafnir straight on. And of course, Louis then joins in a little bit afterwards, and we get this kind of cool, but also awkward, just line of bays just kind of spinning in the stadium. Three out of the four bladers are really in it, and Huga is not yet, but then Vault kind of gives him some encouragement, and then we see the awakening for Huga, just like how we saw Hikaru awaken just a couple of episodes ago. His hair kind of shoots back with the old flaming red, and then the bays just start spinning and helicoptering around the stadium, and it's they're glowing, it's rainbow, it, it's it's kind of interesting. It's it's pretty crazy, kind of odd, but whatever. Then they kind of spin and float into the air, and then are completely shot into the opposite sides of the stadium. And then Hyperion and Valkyrie combine in a pretty unique way. Valkyrie hits the wall, and then Hyperion hits Valkyrie and kind of activates Valkyrie's kind of bound rubber gimmick and shoots Hyperion off into the other bays. In this process though, Valkyrie is sent into the air and does burst, but it really doesn't matter because this next action is pretty much going to decide the entire battle. With this new energy given to it by Valkyrie, Hyperion just travels just really really fast towards Longinus and Fafnir which are conveniently right next to each other and they collide and then Fafnir and Longinus are sent out of the stadium and by connection sent out of the tournament entirely. Overall, I am okay with this. I mean, I expected Vault and Huga to progress through. It seemed kind of obvious in my opinion and I, I really do wish the battle was a little bit longer and I especially wish that Louis did more. He didn't really do any special moves or anything. He just kind of attacked Hyperion and then joined the line of bays. That's pretty much it. After the battle is over, Vault and Huga are walking together and Lean kind of intercepts them and I assume just starts talking trash about how like, be careful, cause you're gonna get destroyed. Maybe, I, I have no idea. This is of course really triggering to Huga who already has kind of a bad temper, which hopefully means that maybe if he does battle lean one-on-one -on -one in the future maybe he'll use some evil blader resonance possibly i that'd be kind of cool let me know what you guys think of that in the comments down below now guys we actually get on to the really hype moment of the entire episode and this is vault meeting up with shu and we actually get the reveal 
of World Spriggan in the anime. Vault and Shu have a rendezvous by a stadium, and Shu just kind of just shows off World Spriggan. He's like, what shot? Here you go. And we get a full look at how World Spriggan works and kind of all the parts and stuff. And then Vault and Shu actually battle. Could this be the long awaited Shu and Vault matchup? Uh, no, N no, not really. Both bladers launch their bays, and Valkyrie goes in for an attack on the centered Spriggan, and it kind of just spins away because 2B, if you don't remember, the chassis for World Spriggan has the free spin gimmick, and this is actually called World Spin in the anime. I really do hope that Vault and Shu have a full on real battle in Sparking. That would be really cool to see, and it'd be just a really big missed opportunity if this is the final season of Beyblade Burst and they don't battle again and that wraps up the entire episode pretty much and just to kind of quickly go over the preview for the next episode it does seem like it's going to mostly be a filler episode there's going to be a decent bit of Huga and Hikaru having their whole brother stuff going on and Aiga's in there a little bit I guess but this is where we see the beginning of Aiga versus Lean in the one-on-one -on -one semifinals. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to see the full end of the battle in this next episode. I assume not. I'm pretty sure it's going to leave off on a cliffhanger. And then the episode afterwards is where we see how the battle actually ends up. But that is going to wrap up this video, guys. What did you think of the episode overall? Once again, I thought the battle was a little on the short side i wish there was a little bit more action between the four people because it it could have been really really hype the ending was cool though i like the ending but thank you guys for watching this video hit that like button down below we're trying to hit 800 likes subscribe to join the nook nation and of course if you do not know i am doing a giveaway with mall of toys to give away 10 world spriggans all you have to do is go to the gleam link in the description down below and then just follow the steps that's pretty simple hopefully you guys can get yourself a world spriggan and i will see you guys in the next one have fun and bay away